In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite money plays from the tight slots halfback week in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. I just want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I want to encourage you to join my Patreon. That's where you can get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. Today, we're going to be breaking down a money play out of the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. And the play we're going to be taking a look at is post wheel drag. It's actually one of the main reasons why somebody would want to run this this playbook um, is really specifically for this passing concept. And what you're going to see here that makes this play so good is this post right on the left side. As you can see right here, my flats are set to 30 my curl flats are set to 10 and my hook curls are set to 5 and we're going to run one of my favorite combos in madden 22 ideally if you're running this you might want to consider putting your um your post to the short side because it's going to run and run and run and run it's going to run itself open essentially so all we're going to do with this play is we're going to block our tight end and then I actually like to mix uh, some simple motion uh, in with this. So we're going to take our running back and put him on an out route. We're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to slant Scotty Miller. And we are going to run Scotty Miller to the right side of the field and just simply snap him once either he sets his feet or if he's in motion, you want to be able to do that. And what you're going to see here is if they are running 30-yard cloud flats, this post route is going to be very effective at getting over the top of those zone defenses. Now, what makes this play so good, in my personal opinion, is not only the fact that this is going to be something that gets over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat, but it's also really good in terms of the layout for the concept. What I mean by the layout for the concept is we want to be able to attack the whole field. It's really important in Madden that you understand that you have to be able to attack the whole field with your concepts and really use the whole field um, to be able to get routes open. So, for example... Um, one of my favorite things to do off of this is to simply take my running back and put him on an in route. And then we're going to take circle here and um, the circle receiver. We're actually going to leave him on this dig. And then we're going to motion Scotty Miller over and we're going to put him on this vertical. What this creates for us essentially is a shallow cross concept. We're going to have a shallow cross concept between the in route and the running back in route. And then we've got this deep vertical coming over the top. So they have to have underneath zones to be able to guard that. And then what you're going to see here is if they do have all those underneath zones, now you see that I've got my post over the top of the defense for an absolute laser. Now, this is also one of the other real important concepts when creating an offense is having a route combination that is effective against man coverage and different types of zone coverage. It's one of the best man plays in the entire game. And the reason why is if you take a look here, you're going to notice that this is a misalignment in 3-3-5 wide. You're not going to be able to get proper alignment against this route. So what we're going to do, again, we're just going to simply motion Scotty Miller to the right. And what you'll see is um, when we motion him to the right, we now have this deep uh, smart routed in. Or if we wanted to create a slant and flat combo, we can do that just like this. And again, you'll see here my running back gets open to the flat. I can easily take that read uh, to the right side. And then if I wanted to, I could take the motion slant, which I'll be showing you uh, how to hit the motion slant here in just a second. We're just going to go stock uh, cover one robber. But here's your motion slant. If you're getting a lot of man-to-man, -man, my recommendation would be to go ahead and snap this guy as your motion slant just kind of right behind here this is going to create kind of a natural pick and rub and then as you can see your post route is one of the best man plays in the entire game so you're able to beat man you're able to beat zone coverage you're also able to beat match coverage which i'll show you how to do that real quickly now again i do want to remind you that if you're watching this video and you want to take your madden game to the next level we actually build full ebooks um, that walk you through how to run an entire offensive scheme together. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to my uh, Patreon page in the description. Literally $10 gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks if you want to check that out. So what's really interesting about this concept is when we motion uh, Scotty Miller here to the right side, we want to snap the ball right when he passes 
right there. And what you'll see here is the match coverage will actually do a decent job. I think it's one of the better ways that match can work. But as you can see, it is a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So essentially, he's in man coverage across the formation on this post wheel uh, player. The problem for the defense, at least in my personal opinion, is if you take a look here, if I actually leave uh, Scotty Miller here on the right side of the field, so let's say that I just simply did, you know, essentially a in route to Bernard, and then maybe I did like a zig or something, whatever, a hitch, to Scotty Miller, you'll see that this actually will be more effective specifically as it pertains to match coverage because he'll be able to cross the face of the safety as opposed to getting the man lock that we're going to get. Now, I will show you one last little trick uh, for match coverage that I really like. And all we have to do um, is to run essentially that shallow crossing concept. So we're going to have our running back on the shallow. We're going to have Chris Godwin on the dig. And then we're going to motion Scotty Miller and have him on the deep vertical. So you see how we have that nice 10-yard ten, ten in route. And what this is going to do to the match coverage, you'll see that it's going to put it in kind of a tough position. And this in route will very consistently be able to get open as well as your running back route. I want to thank you for watching this video. This has been a breakdown on post-wheel drag out of the Cincinnati Bengals playbook. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, get you access to all of our Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. And we've been putting some updates into the Patreon membership out of the Cincinnati playbook. So if you want to check that out, again, link is down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.